the big deal was in New Mexico, New Mexico Public Service, they were building a big power plant. And the fight had already started. They'd been back and forth about they didn't want to do scrubbers. And then I became the administrator. And uh, they still didn't want to do scrubbers. But the person in front of me wasn't real tough on them. So I go to New Mexico and meet with their chief executive officer, Jerry Geist. And he'd never met me. He had sent flunkies to Dallas. So when he walks in the room, he knows who I am because I'm the only woman there. And he walks over and he said, my, my, a lovely lady from Texas. And I said, I'm the EPA regional administrator. Now would you sit down and let's get on with this? That's how that started. So he got really red in the face with me. And finally, somewhere during the discussion, he did like that, pointing a finger at me. And I said, you pointing that finger at me? Well, don't. And he said, listen, I know people in Washington, and I'm calling them. You're going to be in deep trouble. And I said, go ahead. That's okay. So I go to Washington because Domenici says he wants to see me. He was a senator from New Mexico. So Domenici starts about, do you know what you're going to cost him in money for scrubbers and this and that and whatever, whatever. And, and when he was through, I gave him all the reasons why they had to have scrubbers. I said, Senator, you know, New Mexico Public Service changed their mind of what, what kind of construction they wanted for this power plant right in the middle. And so a hard wire plant, to change it now, is a little late in the day to do that. They knew they should have scrubbers, and it doesn't make any sense, and I went on and on. He picked up the phone, and he called Jerry Geist, and he said, Jerry, I never saw this woman before in my life. She makes a lot of sense. Now let's put the scrubbers on there. And when they were ready to have the dedication of the plant, the minute she called and said, it'd be nice if we both go.